everybody, it's PJ, and this is my ex-husband, Wolf. Say hi, Wolf. Hello. Right there, say hi. Okay, so he's a real friendly kind of Scorpio kind of guy. He actually is. He's going to take care of me during my operation. I love him dearly. Yeah. If they look at me, they're going to see my eyes are red because I'm on the internet. <laughs> he doesn't like it. He doesn't like computers. We're going to do the X tag, okay? So we have some questions we're going to answer uh, with each other and see how this goes. So where did we meet? Do you remember where we met? Do you remember how old I was? 17, 18. You were 18. So you had a driver's license. I wasn't 18. You weren't? Nope. Lie. I was with Nikki Canoe. That's and... another lie you told me then. No, it wasn't a lie. <laughs> it wasn't I was born lie. down south. Yeah, that was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> but that wasn't. So go ahead. Do you remember? I, I, I think Nikki's uh, ho uh, hotel room, his um, <clears throat> hospital room. Nope, that's the second time we met. The first time we met, I was with Doug Adams and Nikki Canoe at a party in West Town, like West Town Muse or something, and you were with Zuner. And he was getting ready to go to Nam or something, uh, or just back from Nam, maybe. In the Marines home. Or Marines, something like that. Anyway, he and you, you guys were in the kitchen talking about cutting your hair. What are you doing? I'm just been drunk. You were drunk, and um, I walked through and and tried to talk to you, and you said no. Why did you tell me you didn't want a girlfriend? Because tell him why you told me you didn't want a girlfriend. <laughs> Do you remember? No, I'm getting old. Because you, you didn't want to share something. My weed? Your weed. And you didn't and you didn't want to wait for me somewhere at rock concerts. Oh, in the bathroom. At the bathroom, yeah. What are you going to make me stand outside and wait for you to hold your pocketbook too? Come on. You hear this? So anyway, so you wouldn't date me. So the next time we met was at uh, Jim God's hospital room. <laughs> and they put like the two long-haired people together and I was friends for one side of the hospital room and he was friends with the other side of the hospital room and then we just all partied in the hospital room really and then a bunch of my friends started dating a bunch of his friends he still wouldn't date me would you you said no the first time was Ernie dropped me off I, I was dating his friend Ernie and Ernie dropped me off at the house he said Wolf's gonna be there tonight by himself he's gonna have a big party and he dropped me off and and that was it. And that was it. One day. You then know, look at us now. I'm on the internet. <laughs> I know. Divorced. Talking about but it. we were together for like 20 years. Like, and we have three beautiful children together. We are absolutely really good, good, super good friends. He's gonna take care of me while I'm sick. I took care of him when he lost his fingers last summer. So I mean, it's the way it is. Where was our first date? Do you remember? Drive-in movie. Ilsa, bitch of the Boost and Walt. He took me to like an S&M movie. Yes. It was like Elsa, the bitch of what is it? Some concentration camp. It was so cool though, because it was like a pinup thing. Wasn't it a pinup girl? Like she looked like a pinup girl. She looked like the perfect Nazi uh, camp commander. Yeah, that was yeah. our first date. Love you. And Love you. Come on. Girl prison movie and Nazis. And Nazis. Good <laughs> good themes all around. Oh, Nazis. Nazis. So what was your first impression of me? Well, I don't know the answer to this one. What did you first think about me when you saw me? Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Too fast. Talk. <laughs> Do you know what I thought? I'm going to marry him someday. Yep. I knew I was going to marry him when I walked by at like... I, I, I wasn't driving the first time I met her, so I guess I was like 15, I was with Nikki. I knew then. First okay. Thing, first thing I noticed, she had a red opal cadet. Do you remember meeting my mom? When you met my mom? You were drunk on wine. You had two different color socks on. <laughs> and I told my mom. I'm gonna pair him to Georgia. It was terrible. He was drunk in my bedroom at my parents' house. And how, how old was I, like 18 or 19? You were five years older than me, so... I you were 15, I'm 20? No, I wasn't 15 then. We didn't start dating until I was driving, remember? I had the, yeah. uh... Yeah, so I was, six, I was like, just turned 17, just back from California, when you and I started dating. And 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, you were 22. Because I had just gotten back from California with Barry and Steve. 
I used to bring my friend Barry around to all these long hairs. They were like almost, they weren't bikers. They were like biker types. Yeah, we're rock and rollers, man. You yeah, know, rock long and hair and yeah, stuff that's like that. You know, we look like uh, Leonard Skinner or Marshall Tucker. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> and I used to bring my really super feminine, like super femme kind of girl boy, boy. For some of it, Barry. Best friend. Oh, he's gay. Oh no, Barry. Barry. Barry's not. Come yeah, on. he wasn't out then. I know. He we didn't have gaydar back then, but I knew it. Like, you know, <laughs> something like. Well, he wore like silk scarves and shit. Um, so I used to bring Barry around, and uh, everybody loved him. Oh, everybody well, accepted yeah. him. Like it didn't matter. But it just is so weird because these were like heavy rock and roller type dudes, <laughs> and Barry and me are like doing the twist in the middle. Okay, what did we argue about the most? We didn't usually argue, did we? What we got on a cheesesteak. Yeah, like we weren't big Not arguers. Big arguer. Like we were pretty, we were pretty comfortable with each other. There wasn't a whole lot of argument. He would go nutty once in a while. That wasn't good. And like, like he didn't drink at home. He didn't do anything like that at home. He went to work every day. I was a mom of three. I mean, we were pretty traditional that way. What was our first road trip? I know. You mean a real one? Yeah. You took me in the truck. Okay, New Orleans. New Orleans. The first road trip, you took me in a truck to New Orleans. We were driving a tractor trailer through the little streets of New Orleans. We were like ripping trees out of their roots and shit. And but was, we had a blast. I didn't have much experience. I'm like, well, we're going to get out of here. <laughs> it was so small. And then in. And it's like, what do you want to do now? Fort Walton Beach. And in Fort Walton Beach. I know. <laughs> we were at Hog's he Breath Inn, which I love the name of that. I want their t-shirt. But Hog's Breath Inn. I see them now, man. Drunk on wine coolers. I was drunk on wine coolers. I don't know what you were drinking. But we were uh, we were both drunk. And he was trying to teach me in a parking lot how to drive a tractor trailer. <laughs> I had no business, but I was like jerking us back and forth. Like it was horrifying. I don't know how he drives them. Oh, it's just like driving a regular four speed. It's ridiculous. I could never. It's just like driving your Opal Cadet. It's like the clutch out and it's the same thing. No, it wasn't. I let the clutch out and the whole, like, two tons is jerking me around. We were like in Ew. a washing machine. Um, if I'm watching TV, what am I watching? You know? Judge Judy. I love Judge Judy. I think she's wonderful. I, why did I let somebody on the Supreme Court be on TV? And what would you be watching? Fox News. Nah, I don't watch Fox News. You don't watch Fox News anymore? What are you watching? The Flyers. Hockey, but... He loves hockey. Hockey. I on like a... the murder shows. Oh, that's right. You like all that. Because it just reminds me, like, these you know, guys, these do, guys it. do it, like, professionally. Like, Ooh. they're out, you know, so. Yeah, it's and not I don't a crime want, I don't want to go play with them. No, nobody wants to go play with them, right? I'll stay where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cold. And the wild shit we did when we were younger, like running around and all that. I'm yeah. glad we didn't never did nothing stupid. Yeah. There's all that DNA coming up on you now. Like I know there's no file sitting in the cops thing somewhere. I yeah, right. But you also like were pretty heartful about things. Like you wouldn't really hurt people. Like yeah, you we didn't have, have to. to. We you weren't never. To hurt yeah. You know, we like never, you weren't even we a We never fighter. broke into houses and stuff like that. No. You know, we didn't steal nothing. I just had some liquor. <laughs> when they were some, really young. Make some phone calls, something like that. Yeah. But I mean like, you know, we didn't like go to a never. party and like, you know, like grab a souvenir or something like that. No. We didn't do nothing. Like no, that. you were never a no. thief. Oh we my god, never that. hated a thief. No, none of us did. You're you know? just out getting high. <clears throat> getting hard, getting drunk, having fun at all. What's your favorite music? I know what it is. Is it though? Is it still the Stones? Your favorite, huh. hands down? Yeah, Stones, that one. Keith. Yeah. He won't ask me mine. When I first met him, he ripped my um, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen <laughs> thing off the back of my car. I'm a Bruce Springsteen fan. I said, I'm not. I'm not ripped. <laughs> Took it right off. I was like, seriously? Like, I saw him at the main point. This gets edited. I'll, never, like, I'll never I won't tell anybody. <laughs> You'll never hear the end of it because people like Bruce. I, got I like Bruce. I still like Bruce. But now oh, I yeah, hear he, he's like he, a prima donna. You know what he did? What you know, what? I just saw him on TMZ or something. I don't want to know. Goofy shit. What? He just wrote some kid a uh, get out of school car or 
excuse. Sorry Billy wasn't at school today. He was out rocking and rolling with me, Bruce Springsteen, and had a picture for him and all that. What? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's a little bit much anymore. He thinks a lot of himself. I mean, back when I first saw him, it was at the main point in Ardmore. It was oh, yeah. like, I was like this far away from him. It was crazy. But then they got really big right after that. I it? think it's decent that uh, the saxophone player died, that his what, nephew or something took over in the band. Yeah, that was nice. A decent move. What's your favorite, what's the favorite concert you ever went to? Fuck all these, I have better questions than this. What's the favorite uh, concert you ever went to in your life? You went to tons. The most historic he, one. Probably. Like, he made me follow, like, we would go to dead concerts. How many dead concerts? I'm not even a dead end. I've probably seen not it 15, dead. 20 times. Yeah, and he would, like, drag me along. I'd be like, okay, like, I really don't want to watch any more of this. Because <laughs> I was like, I like the dead, but not like that. What's your favorite concert? I used to go see Humble Pie and Jay Giles a lot. I like, I like going to them. I forgot half the ones I've seen. He got arrested at the um, Leonard Skinner concert. Yeah, the last one before they died. Um, while I was pregnant with our first son, him and Ernie went. And I've Ernie seen came so many back. Of Jack Daniels in my whole life. <laughs> Ernie, <laughs> we were partiers when we were young. Ernie came back and he said, I lost Wolf. He was like crying, literal, literal tears. <laughs> <laughs> I lost Wolf. I lost Wolf. I said, what happened? He, I don't know. I, I saw him trying to punch a horse. I'm like, what? We ended yeah. up in the OD tent. So they he, let me out first. Yeah, they, they both ended up in the OD tent. They let Ernie walk out, walk home. I'm sitting home watching, you know, Judge Judy or something. And then... EJ's like Tennis. missing forever. I get a phone call. What were you, you were down at? Like what was it? Somewhere ninth in, or eighth and race. Somewhere in South Philly. Somewhere in Philly. I had to go get him. Here he like they backed a horse up against. Trying to get him. me on assault on a horse. Yeah, <laughs> they kept backing the horse up against They're him, trying to hit me and he was him. like trying to bat it away. So they tried to get him for like assault on a horse, but it didn't work. They didn't get him. I mean, it was just silly. I mean, they did. He was just. They just let me sleep it off. And whatever. yeah, but I mean, they didn't charge him with anything. He was just a nuisance. But I um, had this really cool street weapon. It was a piece of plastic, and you put your middle finger through it. Oh my God! Don't tell and me. And it was like that. a. Ice scraper. It was real thin. It was sharp. I'm scared. You didn't hit a horse with that. No, no, no. Oh my god. I had it in my back pocket. Like you whenever never I heard it. You could carry it. It was plastic. You know what I mean? It wouldn't sell. Right. I no remember detector. that. Do you yeah, still have it? No. Nah, the cops took it. Mm. And the cop took it. He goes, "What the hell is this?" And I said, "Look, man, it's self defense and everything like that." Right. And he like looked at me. I said, "If I was you and you're going to take it from me, I'd put it in your pocket. I wouldn't put it in no evidence bag, dude. It might save your ass someday." And I got, I got you one, the Ace of Spades. Parent. Right, I, I was going to say, didn't I have... The Ace of Spades, the Ace of Spades. I had Lemmy one didn't I come with it. Lemmy didn't come with it. But you could hold it in your hand and it you know, looked like, you know, a little... If Ace somebody ever attacked me, I'd die Have it on your tea thing and like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll let this little girl hit me. I'd be like Ooh. in my purse going, hold on. <laughs> let me find it. Hold a second. Hold I got second. it right here. I got it right here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> what color are my eyes? Don't look. Red. What color are my eyes? Brown. Nope. One's brown and one's blue. Nope. Green. Yes. Remember, we both have green eyes. And I wanted a green-eyed kid. And I, I thought if you had two green-eyed people, you could get a green-eyed kid. But there is no such thing as green eyes. You need a brown and a blue to have a green. So we would never. And we didn't. We had two blue-eyed kids and a brown-eyed kid. Well, he's not brown. It's like red. The color of his hair. Jeb's eyes match his hair. It's like red auburn. Mm. What's your favorite sports team? I know. The Redskins. No. Who's your I'm favorite? Out, I'm, out, I'm, I'm out of football. Well, then who's your favorite sports team? I'm a Flyer fan. Mm. I've been mm. a Flyer fan since 1967. Oh my God. We used to, he used to make me watch the Flyers on a 13 inch black and white TV. Like the little puck was like. You couldn't see it. That big. I, I was like, what am I watching? I'm like. I got old but, dudes we hung out with Ernie B. Leonard's. Oh, they all man, loved we were all it. watching it. Oh my it. God. They loved it. And we went down to the parade and after that. Like they fights. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, they would go to the parades because the Flyers won all the time, yeah. didn't they? A couple they times. Done two years. They won two years in a row. Yeah. And we beat the Russians, so we were the best team in the world. Wow. Still are, you know. We just and them guys loved it, man. But I turned them guys on to hockey. Yeah, loved <clears> it. <throat> it's a guy thing. It is not a girl. I don't know one girl that says 
Yes, ice hockey. And what is my favorite? Until we're in a like? hotel in Connecticut at some family function and the fire alarm goes off. And Paul was like, hey, 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 isn't it so nice the fire alarm comes off? There's a whole hockey team of guys standing up there in their underwear. They were. All these young boys walked out. Me and his sister were like at opposite ends. And the fire alarm goes off. All these young boys come out of the room. And we're looking at each other like, oh. Do I run? What a treat. <laughs> like, let me just stay here. Yeah, hockey players are cute. Um, do you remember that fire, that wedding? No, I slept through it. I know. So I'm in a I'm in a hotel room with him and his two brothers. Okay, um, Grizzon or Steve and and Magoo are in one bed, and Wolf and I are in the other. And we have this wedding in the morning in Connecticut, and the fire alarm goes off. So I'm like. We had been up partying so late, but like I wasn't terrible. So I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, that's a fire alarm. His one brother gets up, walks across the room, starts banging the top of the the digital clock. I'm like, it's not an alarm clock. <laughs> He's like banging, banging. He pulls it out of the wall, throws it on the floor and gets back in bed because the alarm was so loud, like ear splitting loud. And then... So I get up, I go to his other brother, I'm like, get up, get up, get up, It's there's a fire. And he's like, Aah. so I go over to Wolf, and I'm like, Wolf, get up, there's a fire. And he says, he, he opens one eye, looks at me and goes, let it burn. <laughs> I'm like, great. This wasn't my sister's wedding, was it? It was on uh, Monica's. Oh, okay. So then I'm like, is there really a fire? So I open the door and I look down the hallway and there's Jeannie, his sister, on, down the hallway. And all these boys come out. And here there was no fire. They had taken a fire. The boys were this team and they took a fire extinguisher out and was like, so somebody thought it was smoke and hit the fire alarm. But at any rate, if it was a fire, they would have stayed in there until the firemen came and got them because they weren't moving. They were my sister's boyfriend at the time or something. He was a fireman. He was mad. Yeah, cause we, didn't was wake, we didn't wake up and obey the fire alarm. They, yeah, he was <laughs> pissed at us. They were I like all it. outside. I didn't hear we it. We were like, uh. Oh, I didn't hear it. All right. But we're so. the crazy ones you know, that come up to Connecticut and, you know, they all went, Have to, fun. They all went to church and all that. You still go to church and everything like that. And we're the crazy Your ones that come up. Your sister still goes, right? Kimmy? Yeah. It's like, she stopped? I'm surprised she used to go, even no matter how hard we partied the night before, she would be up and gone. Irish Catholic. Never worked on me. Anyway, um, okay, so what sport is me? What do I like? Tennis. Tennis. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Last question. Where would you live? You can live anywhere in the world. I've been everywhere. I don't know either. Yeah, I would have to guess. I do want to go to Ireland, but just to see it. I don't know that. Stay there. You should still take little, me. A little cold for me. He should still take me, even though we're divorced. He should take me to Ireland. You want to do that? You want to go on a trip together? Uh, well, maybe not Ireland. Where? Where do you want to go? That's where, that's where Irene went. and She slept the whole time. She was dying of cancer. She didn't know she had it then until she went to Ireland. So I don't want to go to Ireland and find out I got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bad juju. Where do you want to go? Yeah, Scotland. Um, Scotland be cool. All the castles. I'd do that. Let's do it. I'll, let's go on a trip. Let's go on a trip together. The only way you can afford that is if your mother leaves you a pile of money. I can afford it. I don't care. I don't have anything else to spend my money on. Our kids. They, they get. They get it. They owe me too. <laughs> I told them the other bears. What do they owe you? You guys wouldn't want to be having to give your mother a bath, would you? <laughs> For doing this? He's not giving me... You're not giving me a bath. <laughs> you might have to hold my arm, like, while I'm in the shower to steady me. But, like, who else am I going to get to do that? Like, Jeff's dead, and uh, there's nobody on Earth other than him that I'll let me see naked. So, you've already seen it. It's no biggie. It's the way I looked at it. Don't want my sister looking. Don't want my mom looking. Don't want my kids looking. So, it's you. Just hide your eyes because it ain't pretty. All right, guys. Well, this is my ex-husband, and that was the tag. And I love you guys. Bye. Say bye. Bye.